Well, why don't we get the flyweight action underway right away? Uh, the first fight of the evening about to enter the ring, and we have Keith Knox against Tiger Singh at flyweight. Our MC tonight is Alan Hughes. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the honest tune of Musselburgh in East Lothian, Scotland. And we have a brand new series for you, ringside, on the road, live and exclusive on Sky Sports with Ian Dark and the former IBF flyweight champion of the world, Dave Boy McCauley at ringside. And tonight's boxing is promoted by Tommy Gilmore Jr. and sponsored by Pride Homes, AC, Dash and Tartan Taxes. Ladies and gentlemen, all your officials for this evening are appointed by the British Boxing Board of Control, your steward in charge, Mr. Gerald Paxton Woolard, and your match maker for the evening, Graham Lockwood of Skipton. This is a flyweight contest at eight stone two pounds over six two minute rounds. Introducing first in the red corner with those multicolored shorts. Two wins from seven contests. One inside the distance. Will you welcome please from Peterborough, Taker Seaton. Ladies and gentlemen, his opponent in the blue corner with those navy and white shorts. Two wins from two contests. One coming inside the distance from Bunny Rig in East Lothian, Keith Knox. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, at the weigh-in today, Singh scaled eight stone uh, six ounces. Knox, eight stone one and a quarter pound. Your referee for our opening contest, Phil Cowsell of Manchester and your timekeeper, Jim Russell of Glasgow. And this is six two-minute rounds. We're off here in the flyweight division. Left of your picture is Keith Knox, former ABA flyweight champion back in 1992. He'll start the favourite here against Tiger Singh, who's lost five out of seven so far. And uh, you can hear who all the support is for, for Keith Knox in the blue trunks here from uh, Fanny Rig, a few miles south of Edinburgh. So a lot of his fans here supporting him tonight and expecting to see his third successive win. But... Um, Dave McCauley, this Tiger Singh, the word is that he might be a little bit better than the bare statistics of his record suggests. Well, some fighters blow hot and cold, you know, it's, it's just hard to know. You, you have to actually see them fighting and, and, and judge for yourself. But Singh seems to blow hot and cold, win a few and then lose a few. This young guy, Knox, he's up and coming now. He's, he's got his, his foot in the first rung of the ladder. He wants to impress, he wants to do things in style tonight in front of his own hometown. Knox is a butcher and he's sponsored by a blacksmith. And he's going for that long, lean body of Singh, who's very, very tall for this weight. One of the tallest flyweights I've seen operating in British rings in recent years. Five feet, eight inches he is. It looks even bigger. Knox will obviously want to get inside. good amateur pedigree this Keith Knox and uh, he started pretty late in the pro game he's 27 already already taking the fight to Singh and putting him under a lot of pressure looking to bustle him up at close quarters in this opening round wouldn't exactly describe it as a cautious start, would you, Dave? No, normally what happens in the, in the, in the, in the first round, you, you go out and you feed each other out, but uh, Knox is getting right into action right away. Closing stages then of this opening round, and I think probably Knox with his aggression will have done enough to take it. That was a good right hand there, right towards the bell. And he still wants to fight on after it. Twenty-seven gallons of chlorine. Three hundred and twelve. Welcome back to Musselburgh in East Lothian, just south of Edinburgh, and uh, Knox in that opening round, plenty aggressive enough, Dave. Yes, well, he, he, as I said, he, he's getting in quick. He's not taking time to, to weigh up the form. He's just getting right in there. Uh, maybe a bit stupid, in my opinion, but that's everybody fights fights differently. I think you should take more time and weigh your situation up. Just two minute rounds here. If that first round seemed a bit quick to you, it was. Again, Knox throwing out plenty of leather here. 
Not all of it landing. Looks just a shade wild, but uh, the tactics so far just bemusing Sing a little bit in these opening stages. Sing from Peterborough. He was born in the Punjab. He's just had a couple of wins so far on his record. They're both really just novices, though, in the professional game. You can see that uh, from uh, Knox's point of view, and because there's still a lot of amateur amateur things that he's doing. He's coming. He's, he's starting off fast, whereas an established pro takes his time uh, and, and wins his way into the fight. Whereas Knox, he's going out at hammer and tongue right away. So as time goes on, he'll get a wee bit more experience. He'll know how to he'll move the slow things down slightly. This is punch economy isn't that good really he's not picking the punches but occasionally he's having successes like that a left hand sings work well, a lot of it looks to be arm punches really he doesn't seem to be doing a lot of damage saying he's setting some points they're hitting the target but i don't think they're they're troubling dogs at this moment in time there's some real raw red-blooded action here in this opening contest of the night Knox actually boxed in the World Championships uh, last year and he was so disgusted by the decision he got in losing to a Finn that that made him turn professional. All right hand there from Singh did get home. End of the second round. If you're looking for a used car, let your Rover dealer look for you. He has immediate access to over 5,000 quality used Rovers. Two rounds gone here of the six. Probably Knox, I would think, will have taken both of those here. Really good atmosphere here at uh, this arena. Big sellout. A lot of them are Willie Quinn fans. You'll be seeing him later on, a super middleweight. Let's sing. And he's taken a bit of punishment, but he doesn't look too bad, does he? Sing in the uh, multicolored shorts here. Knox, the former ABA champion in the early stages of his pro career in blue. What would you like to see more of from Knox here, Dave? He has to, w what he should do, he should work as well. And what he's doing is he's just jumping in and throwing punches. And they're hitting the gloves and the arms. And he's not, he's, he's, he's not uh, working his way in. He just diving and which and he's diving on to some of uh, Singh's right hands and, and left jabs it's just a wee bit too anxious in my opinion at this moment in time he's too anxious to please the crowd to get the fight over and done with he's trying to impress everybody sometimes you know, it's a bad thing to fight to please the crowd you, know, you should fight your own fight and uh, let things just flow naturally I think you're right I think the adrenaline was really flowing for Knox when he got into the ring. It's uh, a live TV appearance for him and everything. Now that's good hooks from Knox though. He picked those punches a bit better. He's starting to get his gloves up a little bit as well and just boxed behind that in this round, showing more signs of caution. Singh just looks a bit overwhelmed by it all at the moment, doesn't he? Well, uh, Knox is throwing plenty, so therefore it, Singh doesn't look to have an answer at this moment in time. And when, when Knox lets, lets those punches go, and when they do land, they do do a bit of damage, like just there now. But Singh's fighting, fighting back, he's got guts. And he's got him with a left hook, I think, there. Did Knox, good punch, that, and I think that probably just shook Singh up a bit. He just, his head dropped for a moment. It's, it's cleared, I think, now, but certainly one of those just wobbled him a little. And another right hand there into the side of the head as the bell goes to end. Another pretty good round for Knox. Well, there he is, Keith Knox. He's got um, a pretty good amateur pedigree, as I was saying. He beat Darren Fifield, the current Commonwealth Pro Champion, in an England-Scotland international, boxed in the World Championships, Scottish Amateur International. It's no guarantee though is it Dave being a good amateur makes a good pro no that, that doesn't guarantee you uh, 
plenty of action. That was a that was a cracking right hook there that caught him right on the chin. Plenty of action from Knox in that round, and a lot of his punches getting through this time. Not just as wild, but the same coming back with his own right hands, uppercuts. That was a good left hook you caught the Knox with there. They're both ready to punch as well. They're not scared to hold back. Sing here, trained and managed by Ken Whitney. He lives in uh, Corby, Northamptonshire, which is local territory for Sing. Looks just working behind quite a stiff jab at the start of the round here. He looks to carry a little bit of weight in his punches, does Knox. Interestingly, they've um, both beaten Ian Bailey and Terrace Gaskin so far. They've both fought those guys and both beaten them. But those were the only two wins for Singh. Five defeats. A couple of them to Anthony Hanna, who we've seen on Sky Sports in the past. Nook still has a, a, a lot of rough edges. He only, like, he's going to have to be uh, trimmed down a bit and uh, taking the rough, the rough, the rough ones. He's a wee bit rough, a wee bit, a wee bit ragged. But uh, through time and experience, if his trainers do the job properly, they, they'll, they'll group him into a, a pretty good fighter because he's strong and he just minds me in a, in a little pit bull terrier the way he goes in there. Yeah, he's strong and he's aggressive and he looks to carry a little bit of power as well. And he doesn't look the kind, does he, who'd be short in the bravery, courage and heart department exactly. Really big, rangy flyweight, isn't he, Singh? Well, I thought I was tall for a flyweight, Ian, but this guy's actually taller than what I am. But I just, I just, I'm just wondering how, how he makes the weight so easily. What were you, 5'7", weren't you? I'm 5'7", five, five and a quarter of an inch. This guy's 5'8", five foot, uh, five foot is he? He's quite tall. winging away with those hooks, some of them a bit on the wild side. This is Tiger Singh, his real name is Sundashan Singh Mahal. The Tiger is a boxing name in the ring. Two times an Eastern Counties ABA finalist as an amateur and a professional since 1992. I've given knocks every round so far. I don't know how uh, Dave McCauley is seeing it. Well, that would be exactly the same as what you are in because uh, sheer aggress aggression and boiling with punches alone, Knox would have to be five rounds in front or four rounds in front. He's breathing quite heavily in the corner, Knox, between the rounds, but it doesn't seem to affect him too much during it. He's, he has looked a bit ragged. He's missed with a lot of punches, but he's throwing so much leather that he's landing with plenty as well. Time out here from uh, referee Phil Kalsall. Just a cautionary word for Singh. I think there's a slight bit of aggro between the two fighters here. There must be a bit of bad blood. <laughs> now they wanted to fight on, didn't they, after the bell for the first round? <laughs> if Knox would just take his time and, and watch where the punches are going, he's, he's been, that right hook's a good punch if it lands. But more often than not, it's going round the back of the head and uh, it's doing no damage at all. Just a wee, he's just too over anxious and, uh, to try. He's just trying to rip this guy's head off with every blow, and you can't do that. That's how you you waste your uh, your energy, and you end up blowing up. Uh, he's breathing a bit heavy, but obviously the guy's fit, so therefore he's he's got plenty left in the tank. And of course, against better punches too than uh, Singh seems to be, you could be countered pretty dangerously as well, being that wild and not picking your way in. Yes, very true. Yeah. Singh needs to use that jab a bit more, doesn't he? He's not really using that reach advantage. He needs to get busy behind the left jab. Well, the thing, if, if, if he wanted to have a chance of winning, he should be hitting and moving. He should, he should be doing just boxing. He's got the height and the reach to hit and move and not be hit, but he's not doing it. He's getting involved in a brawl also. He's fighting Knox's fight. And this is, Knox loves this type of thing. Knox still in charge. Again, getting through with hooks. Singh's carried on. He's looked quite brave and courageous but all the significant punches for my money in this contest have been landed by the Scot.
just one round left in this one and uh, I don't know he, he does look wild and as yet obviously a long way from the finished product but I think there's something there don't you well he seems to have that he, he has he has the punch uh, but the way he throws it but he hasn't landed it that often like, but when it has landed it has done a bit of damage but he just has to be a wee bit more refined he's caught him with a good right hand there and that he's, he, he's holding on then he's throwing around the side at that one hit around the side of the head he's, if he watches where the punches are going and takes a wee bit more time he can have a wee bit more accuracy and, a wee, and do a, 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 an awful lot more damage he's just letting he's just doing caution to the wind and letting them go a wee bit take his time and, and, and work his way in and, and look for the opening just, instead of just letting them go but that's something they can work on in the gym let's just check um, how we're seeing it no, well we've given it all to Knox so far it's a shutout on my scorecard at this point last round here two minutes of it remaining basically uh, Ian uh, uh, Singh needs a KO for, for a draw he does doesn't he <laughs> Of course, only the referee will decide here. His scorecard, Phil Castle. And he's covering up better as well there. Knox just not leaving himself open. I'm just wondering what Singh's uh, corner, what, what instructions are giving him, because what you normally do when you're fighting a smaller guy is you hit and you move, and you keep him at long distance, and obviously, Either he's not listening to his corner or his corner aren't telling him just exactly what he should be doing. He's fighting Knox's fight, he's coming in instead of moving and he's not using the jab and, and his, his time is awful. But uh, I'm just wondering what, what advice the corner has been giving to him. He just hasn't been able to keep Knox away from him and the jab might have helped him to do that if he could have really kept on ramming that out but uh, maybe it's a lesson he'll learn another problem Singh's going to have in his career is he'll always I think be having to punch down he's so tall and what happens to when you have to punch down you lose your punching part and maybe maybe that's why he hasn't got the KO in his record maybe that he deserves under half a minute left of this one and uh, on our scorecards Tiger Singh needs the knockout to have any chance of rescuing things all bustling pressure aggression from Knox last 10 seconds of it now and this does look like the crowd are going to get the home win that they've clearly come to see it looks good here for the butcher from Banny Rig just down the road from here it's over and Knox is the winner a hopeful sing goes over to the referee offers his hand uh, no way, says uh, Phil Castle, and it was clearly Knox's decision, Dave. Yes, without a doubt. Uh, uh, I can't understand why Singh uh, wanted his hand raised. He didn't do enough work in order to, to merit uh, his hand being lifted, but everybody thinks they've won until uh, the referee sticks your hand up. Keith Knox from Bonnie Rig, a few miles south of Edinburgh. There are good mutual respect between them at the end of that one. And uh, I wonder how it was scored. Ladies and gentlemen, a very, very close contest indeed. The referee has scored the contest 58 and a half to Tiger Singh, 59 to Keith Knox. Knox is the winner. Well, the referee scored only one round in it. That does surprise me, Dave. Well, maybe the ref was just being a wee bit and generous uh, to Singh, but uh, I reckon that... Uh, that Knox won by the five rounds and, uh, and, and drew, possibly drew the last one, possibly. Yeah, well, but the right man, I think, won it. Knox remains undefeated. 1-3, lost North.